Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and welcome to Unturned 3.14.13.0. These update numbers are getting pretty crazy, and this week's update was awesome as always. We got a new arena map, we got new methods to combat admin abuse, an overhaul of the fuel and water systems, and some more stuff that we'll get into later. But to start, let's go over some of the changes to the uh, fuel and water systems. Um, now, basically, fuel and water does not last forever. This is pretty nice. It's going to help uh, make building bases around wells and fuels or fuel tanks, I should say, uh, not as like overpowered, I suppose. Uh, now these fuel reserves are going to behave like or similar to trees or berries in that they work as resources. So if we go up here and we get fuel out of this fuel tank, let's just imagine this like we're talking about gallons, I suppose. So it's got five gallons of fuel in there and we took some fuel out and it went down down to 80% because it now has four out of five fuel tanks in there. Now this will very, very, very slowly regenerate. So it's not like when you get fuel out of this tank, uh, it's like completely dead. It doesn't work anymore. Uh, when the server restarts or after a certain amount of time, eventually that will regenerate and then you'll be able to get some more fuel out of it. Now it's still four out of five, so we still can take more fuel out of that and eventually it will run out and then it will have a red outline rather than a green outline. So now it's going to be left with, I think, 20% fuel left. Yes, it does. And then we can go around and we can fuel up our cars. We can go around, we can fuel up all of our generators and stuff like that. Now, these are fuel tanks, I suppose, or whatever you want to call these. These are fuel pumps, um, I guess. So these are going to be the smaller versions. And then these fuel tanks over here to the side are the bigger versions. These allow you to fill up 10 times before it eventually runs out. So anyway, those are some examples of the uh, of, of the new fuel system. The water system works the same. In regards to wells, it's going to work exactly like these fuel reserves. And in regards to these water reserves, uh, we're going to need a storm to show you guys how that works. Perfect, what great timing. Now these water reserves are gonna work exactly like these fuel pumps and these fuel tanks in that uh, they will regenerate. Um, in this case, they will regenerate after this storm has, has finished fueling it up. Unfortunately, the, the progress bar does not slowly fill up to 100% uh, through the storm. You need to wait until, I think, like, what, two or three minutes until eventually this water reserve does fill up and then it will jump to 100% rather than just going zero to 100. Now, I'm not entirely sure. It is going to take a while for these to fill up, but my assumption is that you can still only refill one canteen out of each of these water barrels, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I will put that as an editing correction if I am wrong in that regard. It very well might have like up to 10 uh, refills available for it or five refills for those uh, water reserves uh, for canteens, but I don't know. Also, we can now take fuel out of these cars. This has been something that was in Unturned 2.0 and I had assumed was in Unturned 3.0, but I never actually tried it out, but it is actually gonna be quite useful. If you come across another car, uh, you do have the option of left-clicking on the car. It will take fuel out of it. I, I don't remember what it was before, but I think it was in the 90%-ish range, and now it went down to 60%, and then we can choose to put it in our generator. This one's at 98%. We take it out, and it is now at 64%, and then we can maybe fill it up inside of this generator. Anyway, we can siphon fuel out of cars. Very useful. It needs to have at least... Uh, 25% of sorts. It is going to be different each car, but it's going to need to have the necessary amount of fuel in the vehicle in order for you to take it out. So these aren't going to serve as just uh, driving infinite fuel tanks. There is going to need to be fuel in the car for you to take it out. Also, we had a new trap added, if you can call it that, I suppose. These are designed to stop vehicles from getting into your base. They're very, very simple to craft. They only require three metal bars, and I believe two scrap metal creates three metal bars, so in reality, two scrap metal. I think I, may, I might be wrong. I'll put a correction on the screen if that's the case, but they don't hurt characters. They don't hurt people people all they do is they just stop vehicles from getting into your base they're pretty tough these in real life are actually used in the military to keep tanks from driving into places they'll tear up the treads of the tank and that's why they're called tank traps ha the more you know back into the main menu we had some changes in regards to the server browser list i mean these buttons were changed to the left side uh, just a nice little change i suppose and we now have the option to enable or disable cheats in our filters this is in my opinion a very fantastic way 
of combating admin abuse and I have played a few servers other than my own and I, I myself have come across some pretty toxic admins in that they uh, they teleport and kill and do all that stuff and it's uh, it's not fun so you have the option of searching for servers that have cheats off so in this case all of these servers that I've that I've found here uh, have admins that are only able to kick or ban or slay and do all that stuff. They will not be able to teleport. They won't be able to spawn stuff. They won't be able to do any of that. So it's kind of impossible for them to uh, to abuse. And then you can, if you want to, search for servers that have cheats enabled. And these are all the servers that have cheats on them. So these these servers will have admins that have the ability to spawn stuff. And then that's up to you if you'd like to join that server. In single player, when you go to start up a game, you have the option of enabling or disabling cheats if you'd like to play more legitimately. And then also if you're a server owner and you want to enable cheats for your server, uh, you will need to go into commands.dat and type in the words cheats, just like that, your admins will be able to spawn gear as normal, just like it was before. But then again, at the same time, people who are wanting to connect to your server are going to need to find it by uh, using those server filters and setting it to any cheats. So then they'll be able to find it. Anyway, pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't change much in regards to how the game works. It's just helping us as uh, players find servers that work better. In the advanced settings, we have the option of enabling or disabling stun for zombies. That's when you punch them in the head and they kind of wobble their head around and they can't hit you. You can choose to enable or disable that for increased difficulty. Also down at the bottom, now that we have this fuel regeneration and water regeneration on those wells and tanks, we are able to change the multiplier of how fast those things respawn down here. There were also a lot of improvements in regards to performance on servers, so server owners out there, comment down below if your server is running better. Also, and as I said in the beginning of the video, we got a new arena map. You might be able to see through the slots of this uh, wooden pallet here that this is the Washington map. This is now the uh, biggest in regards to land space arena map that we have in the game. It's going to be a whole lot of fun to play, but I don't want to make this update video too long. I think I'm going to save the gameplay of this arena map for a video tomorrow. Haha, <laughs> I'm so evil, but anyway, that's pretty much everything that was added in Unturned 3.14.13.0. Man, that takes so long to say. There were a few minor little tweaks and improvements and fixes that I did not cover in this video because they were minor, but if you guys would like to check those out, as always, I will put the full update post in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish because me like big boom is out.